Well, I have to tell you that the next three pieces are absolutely breathtaking. Lydia was lucky enough to put this on. I am lucky enough to have it on, um, and you're lucky enough to be able to shop for it. First looks mean you are seeing it presented for the very first time today. Our team works on this show this whole entire day for a year to get these things to make sure that they're that special all made in Ireland for you. What you are shopping for is an incredible pendant. Take a look at that pendant inspired by an Irish folktale, which we will talk about the salmon of knowledge all in sterling silver. There's over 101 cubic zirconias here. The chain comes with it. It is a 22 inch Rolo link chain. It has a spring ring clasp. You could certainly take it off of the chain if you'd want to do something like that with it. But this one is from, I believe it's pronounced Fado, F-A-D-O. And we are also going to give you the opportunity at a bracelet, we'll talk about that. And also a ring that we are going to talk about with these pieces. Um, I think I heard earlier one of our guests talk about the salmon of knowledge and how that was something that she learned about in Irish schools growing up. For me, I have to admit, I've never heard of that story. But part of the fun of today, you're going to find not only my funny leprechaun jokes, but you're also going to find all kinds of folklore and knowledge and just things that make um, all of what we are offering you today even that much better. The pennant, so that you know, is one and three eighth of an inch long and one and three eighth of an inch wide. If you take a look at it, it is slightly bombayed. The crystals on this are absolutely amazing. As I said, 101 cubic zirconia crystals, all beautifully boxed. There you can see it does have an articulate. In other words, it has movement in the bale. The bale also has the crystals on it. Take a look at all of the cutout work on that. I'm not really sure the best way for me to show that to you. Mm. That's probably not going to help you. But there you can see all of the cutout work all of the intricate detail on it. It's a little larger than a half dollar. And if you don't know the story, as I have to admit, I did not know about the salmon of knowledge. You'll have to forgive me as I go ahead and read it to you. Oh, the guest is here. Oh, good. Because anytime you hear the legend with that Irish accent, I'm all in. Much better than me trying to tell you this story. Um, John Condren is with us. He's the owner and designer of this beautiful collection that we're about to show you. So John, welcome. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And happy St. Patrick's Day to you too. Thank you. It's so nice yeah. to hear from you. Uh, <sighs> these pieces are absolutely breathtaking. I love them. They were my, it's one of my most favorite collections. Oh, how uh, nice. Yeah. Will you tell us a little bit about the, as an American, as, um, you know, having the opportunity to travel to Ireland, I know any time you tell me a legend, it is just something that um, I absolutely enjoy. So would you share the yeah. legend of the Salmon of Knowledge and your inspiration behind your pieces? Well, there's an, it's, a, it's an ancient fable uh, going back uh, centuries. And the story of the Salmon of Knowledge was, um, a salmon that was in the River Boyne and it was caught in the pool of wisdom uh, and a young boy was a was a boy servant uh, to uh, 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 his master Finn who was an elder and very wise man and he was training with him and learning from him and this man had been pursuing the salmon for seven years uh, finally caught it gave it to the young boy to cook uh, who was uh, Cook Holland or uh, Finn, Finn McCool gave it to him to cook and when he as he cooked it um, whoever ate of the salmon got all the worldly poetry and wisdom and knowledge um, but the young boy in cooking it pressed the salmon with his finger and burnt his thumb stuck his thumb in his mouth and um, <laughs> He was checking to see was it cooked, and he got all the wisdom instead of his master. But it was the story, really, that brought me to the River Boyne and the, the beautiful river that it is. And it's a very important river. It's very, there's a lot of uh, archaeological importance and around it. Um, it's in the, it's slightly um, north, northeast of uh, Dublin. And um, it would have been a main archery back in, back in olden times for people coming in and out of Ireland. And, but, 
my visit there and I fished on the river myself for salmon, etc. And I really? often spent, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Now, I never caught the salmon of knowledge, uh-huh. you know. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I would have loved to have done that. But, uh, but spending all the time there and, and having the experience of the river, um, it just, and the story as well, it inspired me for this jewelry collection. Um, and it was the, it was the, it was the actual the movement of the river and the sparkle of the water and the bubbles and the, the way the water moves and the power of the river and how it starts off in a big hurry and then meanders out to the sea and how that connects us to the story of life and how we connect with life and with each other. Uh, the swirls and the yetis, the ups and the downs, and then it, it's all part of the one journey. It's 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 all in it's all in the pieces. So the stones they add the sparkle to everything that's there. Yes. That piece in particular, it's beautiful. It's the way it's cut, the openings as you say in it, uh, the detail, and um, the stones. You can picture that as bubbles or the swirls and the eddies of a big pool of water and that's where the inspiration came for the pieces well john i'm going to interrupt you for one second because this is going very very quickly fewer than 400 remain i mean this is such an amazing piece 30 dollars 30 cents to get it home you are more than welcome to use any credit card and if you are new to us on the queue this is our opportunity to be able to share made in ireland the entire day as we celebrate saint patrick's day john don't you go anywhere because the bracelet is amazing and so is the ring but first let me remind everyone that this bracelet is available and if you have the cue card it has a special nine month final